Good evening, 007. Schieben müssen. Meine Füße sind völlig eingefroren. I'm sure I can, Zero. That is just scripted, like, oh, if you take this much damage, or if the uh, the gondola takes this much damage, then blow it up. Figuring that, you know, the only way it could possibly take that much damage is with rockets, but maybe not. 007. The guests won't take kindly to firearms. Keep them hidden to maintain a low profile. Bond, head for the stairs. Enjoy Drake's the about part, to address sir. his guests in the Grand Ballroom. Head for the library, 007. Bond, don't let Drake's men get in your way. Use whatever means necessary to get to that meeting. I'm dropping frames here. That sucks. Hinges look like they can help pretty easily. Test out my laser on them, would you, 007? So much lag. Come on, mission complete. Hurry up. There we go. That's the kind of exchange I want. Dude, that loading time was insane. That was, uh, it was like way longer for some reason. I might lose time on Alpine Escape just because of that. If I lose even 0.1 of a second. That's what I'm going to say. It was because of the loading times. We've got to get going. Almost got it. You worry about the dog. I wonder if it like if there's less lag if I just don't even turn around and look at these guys. I know the uh, the snow that's being kicked up by the back of the snowmobile really does cause a lot of lag. I'm just gonna leave it like this and see what happens. I feel like the performance is not so bad right now. Up ahead, 
James. <laughs> wow, okay. On the left. Nope, not on the left. What? Did you say to the right, Zoe? I, I don't see them. Yeah. What? What's over here, Zoe? <laughs> I'm gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna use the the rockets here. It's a little bit faster to shoot the gate switch, but it's a smaller target. It's like Zoe. All right. Sorry, we forgot to make a reservation. I'm just gonna be like, nope. I'm not looking. I'm not even gonna look at you today. I'm giving them the silent treatment. Oh, you can kind of see the terrain pop in over there. I just noticed that. And then this guy, I don't really know what to do with him. I guess I just blow him up so that he stops driving. That's the only thing I can think of. Because that all the snow that the snowmobiles kick up causes a lot of lag. Am I actually going to save this much time on Alpine Escape? No, I lost time. Oh, the loading times, of course. I mean, really. What in the heck was that kind of nonsense? Get out of here, guys. Oh, this is a terrible enemy's vanquish so far. Nah, at least I that was okay. I got rid of all those guys. Get up. Get out of my face. Yeah, this has been a really bad enemy's vanquish so far. Oh, did I just get boosted by that snowmobile? I think I did. ending was kind of weird. I didn't blow those guys up in the right order, but that's all right. Somehow I saved time. I guess my enemy's vanquished before was even worse. Well, that was, uh, come on, Mayhew, let's go. Look how fast he's going. This so way. fast. 
That actually is really fast. We're close to the bunker now. For anybody that doesn't know, Mayhew actually moves faster when you look at him. It's kind of one of those odd facts that, you know, I don't know why it's like that, but it adds a little oh. bit of uh, a little bit of depth to that escort mission. Dang, I knew I was going to miss that jump. Dude, just get up there, please. It's not that hard. Now this jump. There we go. See how easy that was? Once you get up there, it's like, not that bad. Sometimes I feel like it's the way that this is all part of Drake's plan, all these time losses. Alright, let's see how this ninja fight goes. Yes, finally we killed the ninja on the first try, the first shot. There we go. It's all down to night shift. Bond M here. Avoid not really. This level's not so bad. All cost. Q branch has supplied you with tranquilizer dogs. Please use them. Hit the alarm. Office floor laser trip switches test cycle now running. Cycle will complete in four minutes. I hope I turned off the lasers. If I didn't, I'm going to have to take a little time loss. Bond, don't forget okay, that your that's fine. Can I did. Hidden laser trip I, uh, there's some lasers right there that can... Turn on the cameras or the, like the target computer. turret Install guns or whatever they are. Device and, we're in business. and oh, and when those turrets come on, they can alert the guards, and then you fail the mission. The, the turrets actually don't even do any damage to the little camera things, but they alert the guards, and that's the worst part. Five, six, three, four. Oh man, it was almost three, four, five, six. The range finding beams, that's it. Yeah, it's like those cameras that have the little red beams coming out of them. I think that's what he's talking about, right? Or is he talking about the lasers that you're supposed to look at with your uh, x-ray glasses? Or heat vision floor. glasses or whatever they are. Thermal. You can use the thermal vision. To gain access. You know. These. Ow. I don't know what they were thinking with that green filter. That vent 007. It's completely useless. The blue one is okay. Because you can actually see stuff, like you can see enemies through walls and stuff. That's really cool. That door must be for the terminal room. But the green one, Let's hope me I don't think I've works. ever actually used it playing this game. Oh, he talks about both. Bond, may use computer is in this room. Upload the Q-worm into it. Be careful, old boy. What happened up there, James? The street out front is swarming with security agents! <laughs> Only one way off this rooftop now, Bond. I tried to jump, jump there, but the enemy said no. They shot me right when I jumped. There we go. Now it's down to chain reaction. Am I going to live or not? 007, your camera should help you here. Any snipers in the right. He's 
behind the ship. I see lost him. He's by the fence. He's in the hole. He's in the hole. He's by the fence. Man down, man down. Holy crap. I'm gonna. I see, I see messages in chat, but I gotta focus on this for a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab this armor. I really don't want to die on this level. I see him. I've lost him. It's all down to section two. This is the hardest part of the game. Take cover. Dang. I want to take as little damage as possible. He's behind the forklift. He's on the crane. Contact lost. I can't see him. Come on. That's not lined up right. There we go. Good chain reaction. I'm gonna grab this armor. I don't I don't trust this these bad guys at the end. Dang man. I really screwed up on that laser. Looking down to reduce lag there. There's a lot of lag in that section. There we go. Security alert! The elevators have been temporarily disabled for your protection. Have a nice day. Did my color settings not save on my capture card? It looks really dark on uh, this level. Get out of my way. How did I not get shot? <laughs> I have full health. Or do I have like almost full health and it just kind of rounds up on the health bar? I don't know. I love that strat. Thanks, Zero. Yeah, I don't know how I got through there with no hits or without taking any damage or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Picked up some ammo for this gun. You can just shoot through the walls in this section, it's kind of crazy. This is the best place to be if you want to survive this part. Not that it's like hard to survive here or anything, but I'd rather not take so much damage. Oh. Hey Jay, how's it going? There actually is a, uh, on a more serious note, there actually is an uh, action replay code that lets you beat every level instantly.
pretty funny. You just start a level and immediately the level finishes. It's pretty hilarious. There we go. Save time on Phoenix Fire, too. I should save a lot of time in this level if things go right. As long as I don't completely screw this up, I should save time. Ah! That's okay. I lost a little bit of time from that, but not that much. Your remote torpedoes aren't as powerful, 007, but they'll allow you to eliminate hard to reach targets. That'll keep them from radioing ahead. Avoid those sensors, oh, that actually worked. I was getting my remote torpedoes out, just waiting. Better keep your distance, James. Those mines look nasty. These mines are competing for who can be in the worst spot. Like, <laughs> really? Great to keep nuclear subs. You must find a way to destroy them. Cube charge online. Oh, the, <laughs> the submarine just decided to die really late. I guess I shot the missiles from really far away.
That compound should contain a transmission. Intruder on the base! Command your station! Downloading access code. Code downloaded. That was kind of sloppy. Very nice, very nice. Transmitting access. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> All right. Transmitting access code. Oh man, I could have gone way faster than that. I lost some time there. <laughs> hey sniper, how's it going? Yeah, it's a lot of gold splits. I this is my second run up to this point, so. Uh, the splits, all the splits so far are either going to be better or worse and there's no, I mean I guess you can't really what I mean is that the splits that I'm, I'm comparing against are pretty bad it was my first run on Xbox but yeah this uh, this run's going a lot better There's this thing where the uh, the sun on GameCube is in like the wrong spot. I want to see if the Xbox version is like that too. I, I don't even see the sun. Hold on. I think it's over here. On the right. Yeah, so like... Huh. I don't think it does it on this version. Yeah, so on GameCube, whenever you zoom in on the sun, it moves around. Like, it... But here it looks fine. Actually, I think the sky looks pretty different too on Xbox. Maybe it's just the colors, I don't know. Maybe like... Well, no, on my OBS feed it looks pretty much the same. So I guess you guys are seeing it mostly the same. I guess... I just need to adjust the colors on this monitor. Hey Ollie, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I know Zero. I like the jungle driving part is just so awesome. My only complaint is that it's pretty linear. There's you don't really have a lot of alternate paths that you can take. Me too, Ollie. I, I honestly, I didn't expect to, for it to save this much time. You know what I mean? I didn't expect for Xbox to be this much faster. I don't think anybody did. I've been saying it for years, but I'm happy to finally, like, have some kind of proof for it. Like a, you know.
there are some downsides to playing on Xbox though, Ollie. The game lags a lot. So there's a lot of things you have to do to uh Alright, sure thing, Ollie. I'll uh I'm probably gonna cut stream after this run so we can talk on Discord or something. Well, I guess depending on, like, what it is, because I don't have anything to do after this, so I don't have to cut stream, is what I'm saying. But, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I don't have anything to do today, so I think in about 45 minutes or so, I'm probably going to eat dinner, and then, so that's all I got to do. You find a way to disable this contraption. No, I totally get what you mean, Ollie. Like, I know 100% without a doubt that, like, a more skilled night fire runner would absolutely crush my time. Yeah, oh, definitely not. No way. I do not take offense to saying that my movement is not as good as uh, the absolute best night fire players, you know? Like, that. I fully understand that, like, you know, I fully understand that. There's no offense taken there. I don't feel like the, uh, I feel like the movement is the same as it is on GameCube, at least. I don't feel like I'm being limited by the Xbox controller. But even on GameCube, though, my movement is not as good as yours. That's for sure. Yeah, Ollie, I, I honestly can't believe it either. Oh my god, I'm literally on 41 pace. Into the terminal and got Hold on, I gotta focus here. A lot of it has been locked out, but I can access the security cameras. Kiko is our only option. She's locked out all other currencies. You'll need to find her and stay I'm close. not gonna be looking at chat at all for this. Sorry, everybody. Kiko is in corridor A16. James, it looks like Kiko is nearly at the control center. Hurry up. James, see if you can find some way to disrupt the base's security systems. The security center has been penetrated. I wanted to be All safe. Squads intercept the intruder and kill on sight. <sighs> I don't even know why I bother shooting that guy. Or that guy, come on, man. Two grenades. Brick, man, I'm dead. You gotta be kidding me. I only have two grenades. I gotta get some grenades from this guy. At least he had the kindness to drop some grenades. Oh no. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh 
dude, I switched to the wrong weapon. I'm choking this run. I'm gonna have to die in the next section to get some armor back. I'm literally gonna die right here. I'm gonna lose so much time because of this. My loyal associates. My loyal associates. Before we cross into the void of space, hey television, go on, dude. Operation Nightfire. The other transformation of the planet you will soon view from your shuttle windows. The communist, socialists, and fascists were predestined to fail in their efforts at globalization. The answer is sublimely simple a corporate takeover by Phoenix International on a worldwide scale. No I don't think it's going to be 41. But continent wide regions of agriculture, sucks. industry, energy production, and research. It's still going to be a PV unless I really screw something up. But. Of course, our new order will be resisted. But we have the ultimate leverage. Man, the that sucks. missiles mounted in our island grottos and controlled from an unassailable command center, the U.S. Space Defense Platform. Unfortunately, our security has been temporarily yeah, zero. breached. Therefore, I've advanced our launch schedule. All flight crews and Yeah, I'll, I think the main reason is just because, well, one, the cutscenes also save time. It's like two seconds per cutscene. So it's still, um, you know, even with like average movement, even if I lost like five seconds to movement in the exchange, um, it would still be, I would still be ahead. It's, it's just bonkers. That's the word I'll use to describe it. Um, then it's... Is it here? Oh my god, where is it at? Alright, is this where I put the mines, Ollie, right now? Um, there's Kiko, there's the two mines here. Is this where I put one? Or is it the next one? This is it? Okay. So that's one. Then this is the other. And then one in the middle here. Okay, cool. Thanks, Ollie. I appreciate the help. I thought that was where I was supposed to put it, but I, I wasn't absolutely sure. Ignition! Anyone else? Nope. Come on. Dang, it's not going to be it. It's not a 51, or 41, I mean. Just a few seconds. If it wasn't for that tactical death. Yeah, Ollie, the sound effects on this version are so high quality. Um, there are some that are worse, but there are three sound effects that I know of that are worse. But... Um, there's the objective complete sound is like really, I don't know how to describe it, it like screeches. I think the audio like peaks there or something like that. Um, the weapon pickup sound is pretty bad. And then there's one other one. I think it's like doors closing are, are have a bad sound or like doors opening or something like that. But besides that, the audio is tier it's so good this is I really do after playing this this is the best version of the game like casually speed running this is the best version of the game I thought strafing would be really hard with this controller but I actually feel like it's easier because um, well, maybe it's not easier, but I don't feel like I have any disadvantage from it. I guess there's really nothing that could be easier than having a good 
Nightfire GameCube controller. You know what I mean? One with perfect notches. But I don't feel like I'm really at any disadvantage. That makes sense, Zero. Yeah, Eyeless, I really hope that like, you either get that figured out or, like, well, I guess that's really the option, is just getting it figured out. Did you end up getting another copy of the game? To see if that got you better loading times? Okay. Hopefully that ends up working, because I mean, the fact that you've tested the game on that many consoles and they all have slow loading times, it's got to be the game instead of the console. And the fact that you said another game that you had seemed to be fine. I don't feel like I can zoom in as far. But maybe I'm just farther away, I don't know. It's, it's higher quality television. It's, uh... Hold on a second, I gotta listen to the audio cue here. Dang, man, 42.02. So close to a 41. Even the credits are faster on Xbox. Man. Earlier, Ollie, I was talking about... Um, about Xbox, like, for any percent, because some people have asked, um, well, how good is Xbox for any percent? And I just think it has to be the best. I mean, the PlayStation 2 version has fast credits? I didn't know that. So it's not that Xbox has fast credits, it's that, X it's that GameCube has slow credits. What? See, that's the thing. Zero. There's all these. Th Ever since I've been playing on this, I'm finding all these things that are like, huh, that's like different than the GameCube version, but it's like better. And then I'm being told that, oh, well, that's also how it is on PS2. But it seems to me now that like GameCube is kind of the weird one that like, you know, there's all these graphics like the sun in Island Infiltration. You can zoom in on the sun and it'll move around on the screen. And it's like that doesn't happen on Xbox and I'm guessing it doesn't happen on PS2. Best time would be 42, 24, 42. I agree, television. That would be pretty awesome. Ah, uh, okay, Zero. It doesn't have the full... This one doesn't have the full song because the credits are over before. <laughs> they should have made the credits, like, as long as the song was. It wouldn't have added that much time. Yeah, I'll, uh, I guess I'll be submitting this to the leaderboard, and, you know, dang, I'm, uh, I'm just kind of blown away, really, about the Xbox version, about how much of a difference it makes. It's, uh, it's actually kind of crazy. So this is actually, these world records today are actually the first time that I've ever had a world record in a Nightfire full game speedrun. Actually, kind of crazy.